Released by Arrow Video on Blu-ray. It's 1981 Sailor Suit and Machine Gun. Now, when I seen this cover, I thought this was going to be like one of those wild Asian splatter type movies. But then I seen it was 1981, and I thought, well, maybe not so much. And when I watched it, I realized this is kind of a serious, still comedic, uh, little mob movie in some regard. Because this leading lady here, this girl's a schoolgirl. I don't really remember exactly how old she's supposed to be, but nonetheless, uh, when the movie first starts, like when the Yakuza leader dies, and they have to trace the next in line, you know, for being the, the family's leader, and when they go to find that person, who happens to be her dad, they figure out he's dead, so she has to take over her particular Yakuza family, which, of course, is not the best Yakuza in the world we learn as we go along, and uh, there's only like a handful of them, and they end up pissing off all the other families and particularly they want to take advantage of her because she's basically a kid so the movie has some very you know some wacky moments it has some serious moments in there too though and it gets kind of interesting at times but i kind of expected more i hoped it'd be a little bit bloodier uh it's not really much on the blood the story itself is solid enough, although it does kind of drag its feet a little bit with the uh, mob stuff and the character development. And there's like a subplot, you know, the kind of, you know, not, not really a subplot, but like there's a side thing. It's like her dad's mistress comes to live with her and then you finally figure out what's going on there. And then, you know, people die and you, you kind of feel bad about it. But it's just, I don't know, I expected a little bit more than what we got with this. But that being said, it's still very watchable, although I don't know if it's a movie that I'm going to want to go back and watch again anytime soon. Cool slipcase here with this. Uh, here's your extras on the back. If you want to pause for the cause and read that. A little bit of a glare there. Arrow likes to pack these things full of things. You know, we have the theatrical version. And we have the, like, the, um, I guess the director's cut as well. But the best audio is only on the theatrical version of it. Then you get a little bit of uh, some making of documentaries, 50-minute thing on the back. So... You can you can learn a whole lot about this movie after you watch it. But me personally, while I like the concept of it, I felt like it could have been done a little bit better. And I'm just going to give it a three out of five. There is your little booklet you get in here. When you pop the old Blu-ray disc out, you get the original cover. If you insist on using such things. But if you've ever seen any Arrow video release, you realize they've absolutely done the best they can with the transfer. And the transfer is very solid. The movie is good, just not great. And if you want to check that one out, you can. I wouldn't really rank it up there with stuff like Massacre Gut or anything like that that Arrow's put out. But it's okay for what it is.